Golden Bears Sports Network. We are live right here. Right here in Clinton College as we are ready for the EMAC semifinals tonight. We're getting set and ready. They're going to attack an early Johnson and Wells. It's Johnson and Wells in Clinton College. The Lady Bears are going to try to move it around, going for three. <laughs> Logan Taylor McDaniel. Good defensive play right here against Johnson and the Wales in the EMAC semi-finals right here at home. Can't get it to go, but going to draw the foul. And set to go to the line, it's Taylor Mine. Oh, 
can get that one to go, but early on, showing a lot of good defensive pressure. Showing a lot of good defensive pressure and gets that one to go. Early 6-0 lead, the 6-0 run for Clinton College, the Lady Bears right here in this playoff atmosphere. But there comes Johnson and Wells to respond. Spawn for the two of their own. Another response trying to get that in the good deep, good work on the offensive boards. There's the man. Another chance at a three. Goes all the way out. And here come Johnson and Wells. Looking to move it around. Let's see this stingy defense of the Lady Bears gets it to go. Lady Bears right back at him in the corner. Early timeout. We're going to take a quick run with him. We'll be right back. Right here with the uh, EMAC semifinals, Lady Bears basketball. Coming back and we adjust that nine to four score now for Clinton College ahead right now and in this another, another turnover, another turnover. It's Clinton College taking over on the offensive end. This Lady Bears defense all over them. They're all over them tonight. And I'm going to say she stepped on the line turnover. Logan Taylor McDaniel back to Johnson and Wells. It goes. And here comes Johnson and Wells. They're going to try to move it around as much as they can. Try to find any sort of opening. Finds one, gets the floater to go. Get us a go and over there on that sideline trying to trying to work it around. Trying to work it around. Six forty-four to go in the first quarter. To the line, Taylor McDaniel goes. And you'll hear it, get, it gets quiet. It gets quiet because Clinton got the home court advantage, but you know, Johnson and Wells, they, they over there too. Johnson and Wells is over there. Great defense once again. Got the jump ball that time to this defense of Johnson and Wells now. Gets it to go. Six 
Slow it up and run this offense. Gonna slow it up and run this offense. Take the three. Taking it down, can't get it to go. But Rihanna Davis gets it to go on the inside. And then the tra transition. Oh, stolen away. Johnson and Wells, Clinton, College going at it. What a conference playoff game. EMAC. Here comes Johnson and Wells again, trying to make sure I got you updated on all ends. Here come the Lady Bears. They're going to slow it down this time. Going to slow it down, grind it out. Going to drive right, thought about it, kicks it. Stolen away. Here they go again. Mid-range. A little too long. Here come the Golden Bears now. Coming right back at him, kicks it, good pass. Oh, can't get it to go. Four forty-five to go in this first quarter. Kicks it out, wide open. Couldn't get it to go. The Wildcats going up against the Golden Bears. In this edition, the Lady Wildcats going up against the Lady Bears just to shorten it up a little bit. 4.42 to go in the first quarter. EMAC semifinals. Golden Bears at home. Got the advantage early. Let's see. Make her rally. Still continuing to go work stolen away almost. But that time it is stolen away, and here it comes down the court, drawing the foul. Here we go at the line. Johnson Wells at the line. Just trying to cut into this lead that Clinton has built early on in this game. It's the first one to go. We should get the second one to go. It's up. And it is good. I'm giving, giving credit to the wrong side here. Going to the Wells. Put two up on the board after going to the line. Oh, answer back with the two of their own. Forty-nine to go, seventeen to eight. Is the Wildcats trying to find their rhythm? And it's that defense. It's that defense of the Lady Bears that is just so good. Bears looking to work it around. Working it around. Oh, 
Kicks it inside. Ooh, can't get it to go. Here come the Lady Bears right back at them. Fast and furious. Logan Taylor McDaniel. Less than three minutes to go in the first quarter. Now Cash trying to respond. Can't get it to go. Nick Taylor McDaniel on the boards. As here comes the Lady Bears once again. Driving left, thought about it, going right, get it stolen away. Ooh, try to take the charge, couldn't take it. Like an offensive foul, so on the deep, I mean, just the defensive end for Clinton College has just been great early on tonight. Kicks it inside. Good pass. <laughs> Tiffany Reed. Right back at him. Going inside, taking the advantage. Can't get the bounce. But right back up and at him is Taylor Knox. Right back up and at him. Right back up and at him. And here comes Johnson and Rose, the Lady Wildcats again, looking to the left. Goes inside, makes a move, gets it to go. Exciting first quarter, it felt like in this one. Just the five, We're gonna go to the line. Taylor Mines trying to go for that three point play, a smart play to draw the five. 107 to go in the first quarter. Lines at the line. That one right along. She's got one more at the line trying to extend this lead to 12. But it's going to be the Lady Wildcats who are going to try to find some sort of momentum here in this last minute of the first quarter. And here, hit on the rebound, tries to pick it up, can't get it to go. Lady Wildcats coming back down. Looking it around. Looking. We got an opening. Can't get it to go. And here come the Bears. Final to start. I'm going to draw the foul, though. With 44 seconds to go in the first. To the line, she goes. It's going to be Rihanna Davis at the line. Steps back, takes a breath. I mean, the Lady Bears have been working hard in this first half. They got to be a little tired, but in this first quarter, I should say, they got to be a little tired, but nonetheless, they have been working. Can't get that one to go, but the rebound can't get it to go for Taylor McDaniel. Huck. Kicks it inside. Gets it to go. Jordan Durant. Only six seconds to go. Takes the three. Gets it to go. Oh, 
That's how you win the quarter if you're the Golden Bears. Let's see. Draws the foul. Let's see if they're going to call that in continuation. I don't think she got to throw up a shot, but she might get to go to the line on this one. Number five, Kalia Smith to the line. Six. Point one seconds to go in the first quarter. Nothing doing on that. Get that second one to go, extending that Lady Bears lead. Six seconds to go, last shot of the quarter. A deep one, all layer on that one. And Clinton College with a nice lead to end the first. They're moving. We'll be right back. Beginning of the second quarter, the NAC semifinals, Clinton College, Johnson and Williams going at it. Can't get that one to go, this is that one a little short. As the Bears looking to respond right back at him. Robin White takes it all the way. Can't get it to go. The Hawk couldn't get it to go. And here comes the Golden Bears. Going to slow it down. Going to survey the defense. See what's there for them. Davis going to give it up. Mines looking on the inside. Gives it to Reed. Reed trapped up. Gets it back. Good wherewithal to get it back. Picks it back out. For three, gets it to go. With the response by Johnson and Woods. And they're at 14, 14 point game. Golden Bears set to invalid. Being patient, drives left, tries to finish with the right, can't do it. But look at the, look at the hustle on the boards. A couple of chances that it can't get it to go. Here come the Lady Wildcats. 
Crosses, spins, making all the moves in the world, and going to draw the foul. Lady Wildcats set the inbound. Eight minutes to go. You see it on your screen. Eight minutes to go. Stops, pops. Oh, can't get it to go. A good hustle by the Lady Wildcats. A three. Saw her opening, couldn't get it to go. Here come the Bears. Fast break opportunity. Picks it out. Steps in just a little. Gets it to go. The mid range. Good defense by the Lady Bears. Ties them up. And guess what? The possession there is in favor of the Lady Bears. With all the hustle, they get rewarded. Once again, you gotta love the patience of the lady there. If it ain't there for them, they're not taking it. I mean, even on that possession, found an easy shot, just couldn't finish it. But fired on the other end on the fast break opportunity. Oh, to the line. In the line she goes, it is Jayla Lavoie. It's Lavoie. Jayla Lavoie. Can't get that one to go. They need every opportunity they can find in this one. The way the Lady Bears defense has been playing, I think they're going to have to find any opportunity they can get. Gets the second one to go, closing in on that 15 now point lead. Seven minutes to go in the second, still early. The tie could change, but the Lady Bears want to keep the tie the same here in the second quarter. Working it around, going inside, trying to go to work inside. Picks it back up. Working it around. Tries to get the finish, can't get it. But gets that one to go, number 11, Tiffany Reed. Working it around. Can't get it to go. Flips it up and in, though, on the putback. Mm -hmm. Only the Lady Bears who are just going to once again run this patient offense. Patience is the key. To this offense, you find the right shot, but you can't take the game stripped. And here comes the Wildcats stolen away, though, by the Lady Bears because they just don't stop at the smart time out by Clinton College. And if they're going to take one, we're going to take one. We'll be right back. It is the AMAC semifinals on the Golden Bears Sports Network presented by View Productions. Coming back, 5.53 to go in the second. Clinton, they got the advantage right now. They're feeling it right now on the defensive end, on the offensive end. Let's see, going to continue to be patient, kicks it out. Ooh, she might have had her shot if she could have corralled that one. And once again, just making the smart pass, working on the inside. Reed going to the line. Oh, 
To the line, lead goes. Trying to go, we're trying to cash in with two more here. It gets so quiet sometimes, I have to get quiet with it. I mean, they, they got me out here being quiet. You see this? I'm like really feeling the atmosphere right now. Gets it to go. One of two at the line. Let's get that one to go. Can't get that one to go either. Back and forth we go. Good to go. Good play. Finding whatever opening they can find. But the response by the Lady Wildcats. Try to work it around once again. We got play by Taylor McDaniel. Guys and cross. Ooh, close. Close, but got it back. The Johnson and Lewis fans not happy on that one, but. Got the miss. Ooh, all the way that they're going to call the travel. Look pretty. Look pretty. But too many six. Four twenty to go. In this second quarter, Clay still with the advantage. I think I think the Lady Wildcats gonna have to find some sort of defensive momentum, maybe. Mid range, a little too much. Very good put back, Brianna Davis. There's Ingram, Taylor McDaniel. Good move, couldn't get it to go. But it seems like the Lady Wildcats just couldn't get the rebound. Going all the way, flips up, can't get it to go. But I mean, the Lady Bears, just the hustle, just the hustle on the offensive board is really what's keeping the Lady Bears with some of these missed shots that actually have been pretty easy shots that they just missed. They just haven't been able to, you know, get them to go. It's just been the hustle. The hustle plays by Clinton College tonight. As they retain possession, set to inbound. Get to the Taylor McDaniel. Might have had that one-on-one -on -one opportunity if she wanted, but that's the thing. Like, just the selfless nature of this Lady Bears team. When they got to have it, they're going to take it as Taylor McDaniel. But at the same time, we're not going to take you to the city shops either. Tiffany Reed just eating tonight. Hungry. I know it's dinner time and all that, but Tiffany Reed is eating. And Johnson and Wells needs a timeout. Thank you. 
Less than three minutes to go in the second. Johnson and Wells finds themselves down, and Clinton College is relentless in their attack. Absolutely relentless in their attack tonight. We're back in the action. Hope you got your popcorn after that one because they don't give you they don't give you enough time, I don't think, during the break. How they call a play, I never truly understand, but they pull it off. They're better than me. time to hit it. It's getting late in the half. How do you close out the half if you're Johnson and Wells? And how do you close out the half if you're the Lady Bears as well? Right? That's going to be the big question. How is this half closed out? Taylor McDaniel, she tries to respond. Good rebound there with Johnson and Wells. Gets it. Has to whip it away. Oh, they're going to call the foul. I was expecting the jump ball, but they're going to call the foul on that one. Just in case you're just tuning in, DJ Deal from DA Productions. We got a game here tonight. 14 point lead for Clinton College. It's the EMAC semifinals for ladies basketball on the Golden Bear Sports Network. Here comes Taylor McDaniel, aggressive. Gets it to go. That's looking. They've been patient, but I think the stinginess, it's been the stinginess of the defense for the Lady Bears that just hasn't allowed good inside move there by Johnson and Wells. It's been the stinginess of the Lady Bears, though, that I think has been the difference. Thought about it. Flips it up and get it to go. Flips it up again. A little short on that one, too. Less than a minute to go in the half. Could go two for one here if they wanted to. Spins. And charging call back to the Lady Bears. These are some big possessions for Johnson and Russell trying to close it in. I think you would want it to be. If you're, if you're the visiting team tonight, you want it to be around 10 at halftime. And it's going to be hard to do. Because yes, this isn't going to be the last shot of the half, but at the same time, you got to remember. You never know what can happen in this last 24 seconds. Lady Bears working it around, driving, kicks it up, flip it. Can't get it to go. A good rebound. They can take the last shot here. She's going to put it back up again. And the Lady Wildcats here, they come. Ooh, behind the back, kicks it out, three ball. It would have been a big one if they could get it. 
But the Lady Bears defense holds again. Half time coming your way. Right here, the Golden Bears Sports Network. Clinton has the lead over Johnson & Wales is the EMAC City Finals right here in Rock Hill. Clinton College has the lead over Johnson & Wales. We'll be back with the second half on the Golden Bears Sports Network brought to you by Via Productions.
Start of the second half, UMAC semi final Clinton College. This is Johnson and Wells. Two teams, they know each other very well. Clinton had the advantage early. Looks like they're going to keep it up right here. They're going to at least try to be in the third quarter. Wildcats looking to go to work, flips it up. Found a good look, just couldn't get it to go. Looking to move it around, trying to find any sort of rhythm they can, maybe build a little momentum, maybe in the second half. Let's see, but not like that turnover. Good active hands from the Lady Bears, specifically Smith. She tried to cash in on the other end too with a three, but couldn't get it to go. Lady Bear set to inbound. The pass on the inside gets it to the mid range. Can't get it to go. And here comes the Lady Wildcats. They're going to slow it up. Looking for whatever opening, a little give and go. And they're going to call the foul on the inside on the Lady Bears. Come to the line goes Jordan Mega Duffy. Duffy to the line for two. Let's just see what the Lady Wildcats got up their sleeve for this second half. Because I don't want to see what exactly, you know, where exactly they're gonna go with this one. It, you know, they're gonna go with the patience approach, they're gonna go with the you know the three and D type approach. Uh, you know, what, what approach are they gonna go with here in this second half? And Duffy can't get the first one to go. The second one is going to roll on in. <laughs> Lady Bears looking to work it around. Coming down to eight minutes to go in the third. Takes the three, can't get it to go. It's about. Ooh, had a good look at it, couldn't get it to go. Here come the Wildcats. Almost got the steal, so close. Kicks it out, three ball. Gets it to go. A big three from the Lady Wildcats. So in a way, I don't know what happened on that particular pass. A little miscommunication. Mid-range, here comes Johnson and Will. It's that magic number, that 10. Wouldn't be surprised, if, especially if Clinton doesn't calm down a little bit here. If, if the timeout is called on this one. So let's see. Coach going to let her ladies go to work. Maybe respond with a three of their own. Can't do it. Lady Wildcats coming right back at you. Looks 
working it around. Got a good look. But here come the Lady Bears in transition two on one. And take it herself, misses it short. Had that two on one opportunity. It'd be interesting to see how Coach Jessica Blair of Clinton College decides to play this one because when you think about it, what do you do, right? What is the best course of action when you're looking at this particular 10 point deficit now, right? They score here, I think you take a time out, right? But I'm not a coach, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with Coach Blair. Let's see what she thinks. Can't get it to go. And they're going to call the foul. Call the foul. Reed got a couple of words for you, too, after the foul. Maybe saying, finally, I don't know. You know can't read lips. and never been good at it. But here we go. 6.38 to go in the third quarter. The Lady Bears looking to work it around, find their rhythm on the offensive end. Hasn't been there too much for them on this one. And that one's short, too. And though, I don't know if it's like, you know, the fatigue. I don't know if it's the fatigue of just how good they were in the first half. They're kind of a little bit fatigued after halftime and, you know, kind of just got to take a breath and, and find themselves again. But I don't know. I'm sure, you know, the Lady Bears tend to do this. They tend to uh, find their way. I'm sure they will. So let's see what this possession has in store for them. Picks it out. Thought about the three. They're going to call the travel turnover. Clinton College. Back to the Johnson Wells. Wildcats it goes. The EMAC semifinals right here in Rock Hill. Clinton College. Johnson Wells going at it. 10 point game. Getting good. Let's see, 6.14 to go in the third quarter. Found an opening again, gets it to go. Join the ramp. Blair keeping those, Coach Blair keeping those timeouts in her pocket as Clinton College responds. Start moving. On three of their own. Can't get the bounce. Got blocked by the backboard on that one. Hard fall on that one by both of the ladies on that one. But 10 point lead once again. It's a 10 point lead right here. Clinton College got the lead back up. It was a, I mean, it was a pretty big three. That was a big time to hit a three if you're Johnson and Wales. But, but, it was the Lady Bears that responded right back. Had to get that up, couldn't get it to go. Lady Bears gonna slow it down and transition now. Takes the three, gets it to go. Gets it to go, gets the three to go on. Swimming that lead is 13 now. Clinton started a little slow in the second half, but now they found it. Fast break opportunity. Didn't see what she wanted. Pulled it back out. Davis looking. Taylor McDaniel talked about driving right. Stopped. Just going to work it around. Flips it up. Gets it to go. Logan Taylor McDaniel. And the momentum is right back with the Lady Bears. Just like that. Kicks it inside a little too hard of a pass. Stolen away, trying to make the save. Lifts it up, can't get it to go. Lady Wildcats. Looking for something, kicks it out, trying to respond, thought about it. She's had an opening for a while. She just decided she's going to go for the easier, you know, the easier shot. But it's crazy. The, the, the lead has ballooned back up. It's ballooned back up to 15 that quick. It was that quick. It, was, it felt like it was in a matter of seconds. But a response again. Johnson Wells. It 
Taylor McDaniel can't get it to go. McDuffie on the rebound. McDuffie in the fast break. Thinking about, ooh, maybe thinking about going coast to coast. Tries to pass it to Jordan Durant, but she cannot corral it. And the step patrol is back out, making sure that the ladies are safe as well. So shout out to the step patrol. Just made that up. Hope y'all like it. Back at it again, 3.55 to go, third quarter. Johnson and Wells now down 12. Big defensive possession for Johnson and Wells. Let's see what they can do, but also let's see how the Lady Bears on the offensive end, how they, you know, choose to attack. They felt like they were a little sluggish coming out in the second half. Now they're opening. Don't get it to go. Lady Wildcats let it go. Pass the out-of-bounds line and back to the Lady Wildcats. It goes on the offensive end. Harrington Clark. The pressure pass the logo to Nick Duffy. Now it's going to be Durant. Durant going to work. Stops. Tries to get it to go. Can't. Reed on the rebound. Davis. Running this offense for the Lady Bears all night long. All about it. Drives baseline. Can't get it to go. On the floor. All goes back to Johnson and Will. Three minutes to go in the third quarter. It's gotten a little good. It's gotten a little juicy now. Another turnover by Johnson and Wells. And probably a frustration time trying to grab the ball right back by Jordan Durant. Trying to steal it back from Logan Taylor and McDaniel. Stolen away. Good recovery, though, by Mines. Three. A little bit of an opening. That wasn't much of an opening, but I mean, seems to be her shot. If she's going to take it right there. Takes the three. It must be her shot because that it felt rushed, but I mean, you know, I guess when you put Mariana Ballard in the game, you expecting her to hit some threes because. I mean, I felt I felt personally a little rushed up here, but that's why I'm up here. Lady Wildcats, who good trap splits the defenders. Oh, can't get it to go. Beautiful move, just not so pleasant on the finish. I mean, it rolled all over the place, didn't it? Here come the Golden Bears. Flips it up. Oh, can't get the bounce. On the rebound. Up oh, and at him again. Wildcats. Passes it over. Gets it to go. A response. By McDuffie. I'm trying to keep up myself. Lead back down to 11. Three ball. A little long. Ooh, I almost got the bounce on that one, too. Good rebound. To Yaya White. Going to work. Quick, fast, and in a hurry. Harrington Clark with the finish. Coming down to a minute to go in the third. Still got what well, eight minutes left to go in this one. <laughs> we'll see. Still got one more quarter left to go in this one. We're in the third. Johnson and Wells putting up a fight. Good rebound. Here they go. How are they going to end the quarter? Passes it inside. Going to work. Tries to draw the foul. Maybe took the contact trying to draw the foul. Couldn't get the finish. For me, Duffy kicks it. 
outside. Passes the block around. Taylor McDaniel. Good move. Stripped away. Back outside. Smith. Smith. Oh, can't get it to go. Shot clock is off. Last shot of the quarter. If they want it to be, kicks it out. Let's see what kind of opening they got. Hope the way ball stays with Johnson and Wick. Fifteen seconds to go. Fifteen and a half, and a little bit even more than that to go. I mean, fifteen point six. But anyway, uh, here we go. Johnson and Wells, another bucket. Good way to finish the quarter. Let's see what the Lady Bears got up their sleeve with three seconds to go. Toss it. They were going to toss it up. Got it stolen away. And Johnson and Well with a mad rally at the end of the third quarter. I was wrong. It's not a. It's ten. Ten more minutes to go in this game. The NAC semifinals. Who will advance? Start of the fourth, EMAC semifinals. Johnson and Wells visiting, visiting the Clinton College Lady Bears. Let's see what kind of finish we got in store, where the third quarter went. This looks like it's going to be a good one. Johnson and Wells working it around. Can't get the three to go. Good job on the, on the rebound, but blows the layup. Be sure to visit. College.edu to make sure you can you need any more information about Clinton College, athletics, anything like that, academics, anything you need. Clinton College will do it for you. Fourth quarter, Golden Bear Sports Network, Real Productions, coming together for the EMAC semifinal game. Lady Bears, Lady Wildcats. As the Lady Bears are on the offensive end. Has to go three. It's a little short. A little short. Big possession here for the Lady Wildcats. Or see, but going away. This coach is talking to her, letting her know, hey, relax a little bit. We right here in the game. We right here in the game. Don't rush it. One possession at a time. A little less than nine minutes to go. You got plenty of possessions to go. Steps on the line, turnover, and just like that, the Lady Wildcats take over. We're just trying to see if the Lady Bears are not a little bit more pressure. You know, trying to trying to get a little bit more of a sporadic response from Johnson and Wells. Good move to the bucket, Dorsey. Five point lead. It ain't been this low in far some time in this game. Lady Bears working it around. 
kicks it. Oh, got it to go. Bounce up and in. Duffy kicks it. I mean, she's she's got to have that shot in her arsenal. I mean, she hits it so quick. Ballard's got to have it stolen away. Oh, ripped away by Reed. Tried to rip it away. They're going to call the. He was a jump ball. If I'm not mistaken, that's right. They're going to call the foul. As Coach Blair didn't say that. Right. And I think that's going to be five, and that's and that's a that's big for Clinton Tiffany Reed. Miles out. Coach says, "Hey, Coach says, hey, you know what? It's all good. We still going to get the win here, right? She talking to. I don't know what she's saying exactly, but I'm sure she's saying words of encouragement." For somebody who's been working hard tonight. Tiffany Reed been working hard tonight. A tough dial, by the way. That puts her out of the way. And the Lady Bears got to find their response here. They got to find their response and Wow, uh, Tiffany Reed. I think it is going to do it for Tiffany Reed. Big miss here late in this game. Tiffany Reed been playing hard. And I guess that's kind of the tough part, too. You know, you want to enact that pressure, right? You want to enact that pressure, but you may even teeter up on that one, too, because. Nobody's standing at the line. I guess that's what it is. It's a big moment to tee somebody up. But this is the first. Okay, we're just gonna go with the person. I guess we'll see if they get the ball because I didn't see the call. Can't get that one to go either. That's, that's a good. Okay, going for two more. Did they tee up everybody? They, they teed up the whole starting lineup. I, I think they, they may have teed up Taylor McDaniel and look like that too. Maybe late because I, I saw you know her reaction. <laughs> but Johnson and Wells, you gotta be frustrated right now. You had four points, four easy points unguarded, ready for you for the taking, and you took one of them. You had four points easy for the taking, something you work on every single day in practice, and you missed it. So now you're gonna have to go earn. Let's see what the Lady Wildcats got in. Duffy looking inside. Durant. Durant takes the mid-range, can't get it to go. Taylor McDaniel can't get the board. Good move on the inside. White gets it to go. But a response right back from the Lady Bears. Oh, trying to go inside with it. Easy fast break opportunity. Slows it up. Gets it to go. Johnson and Wells need the timeout because it swings that quickly. The EMAC semifinals. 7.22 to go in the fourth. Clinton College. Clinton College with the lead, Johnson and Wells continuing their fight on the Golden Bears Sports Network, brought to you by Field Production.
Drive in Rock Hill. 60 to 51, the fourth quarter, 7-22 EMAC semifinal. Advancement on the line. Johnson and Wells, Clinton College going at it. Late in this one, let's see how it plays out as the Lady Wildcats have the basketball stolen away. And Pillar of Ock with the steal. Haven't seen much of her tonight, but I mean, anytime I have your big moment, there you go. We'll take it. We were going to work, swim school, gets it to go. Dorsey. Seven point game. And the Lady Bears look to work it around. They're going to go back to the, the bread and butter, the patience of the offense. Don't rush it. Take a good shot. If you miss a good shot, at least you missed a good shot, right? Here's a back out. Right box. Shot clock violation. Turnover by Clinton College. Back to Johnson and Wales it goes. 6.22 to go in the fourth. Big possession if you are the Lady Wildcats, but also on the defensive end, it's a big possession for the Lady Bears. Let's see. Got the turnover last time. Let's see what they're going to go with. Moving it around, kicks it inside. Mid-range, wide open. Warrior White gets it to go. Five-point game now. Avant almost lost it. Going to work it around, going inside to Avant. Smart. Can't get the roll. Here come the Lady Wildcats. No help for her. And she's going to pull it back out. They're going to reset. Three. Can't get it to go. Gets her own rebound. Flips it up. Can't get that one to go either. Can't grab the rebound. Thinking about another. Oh, she's going to drive with it this time. Gets the bank. You get so caught up on that shot, you don't even think she might drive it on you. And she did. Three-point game. Late. Lady Bears moving it around. Ballard with the last bucket. Couldn't see the call. Huh? Be a little stoppage with the check in. She didn't foul out. She was just a little. Tiffany Reed did not foul out. I was, I was in the wrong. She was a little frustrated. She needed a chance to just gather herself a little bit. I think she did get a technical there. And that's why I was kind of like, that's kind of down in the end one. Right back, Adam. Brianna Davis. Trying to get the three-point play. Gets it to go. And I tell you, that momentum can just swing just like that. Lady Wildcats going fast and furious. All of a sudden, away. it is stolen away. Again, gets it to go. Davis. Davis turns the tide. Davis turns the tide in Johnson and Wells. And it turns so quickly, you need a timeout. Four forty one to go. In this game, 
Now an eight-point lead for Clinton. Let's see how now that defensive pressure is starting to pick up. Ballard can't get it. McDuffie, she can't get it on the rebound. Little too hard. Lady Bears with a chance. Fast break one-on-one. -on -one. Can't get it to go. Lady Wildcats don't have to be sporadic here. Four minutes to go. Logan Taylor McDaniel picks it up out of the corner. And I tell you, I mean, you ain't got to be. You feel the Lady Wildcats, you ain't got to be sporadic, but the Lady Bears, they can slow it down too. They got the lead. They got the momentum now. Good play from Clinton College. Double digit lead once again. And we're going to go back court. That court violation. And it seems like maybe the Lady Wildcats might be unraveling at the scenes right here. As the crowd noise is getting into it. The crowd noise is getting into it a little bit. Starting to get a little bit loud in here. They may be getting a little frazzled. There's wide open. No good. Lady Wildcat. Now it looks like they might slow it down with McDuffie. Ooh, and here comes a little pressure defense. A little pressure defense by the Lady Bears. Always felt like, you know, always felt like pressure is tough for anybody at any level, you know, especially, especially as you go along. You know, can you... Can you deal with the pressure, especially the pressure defense, a trap defense? McDuffie thought about it. Going right, flips it up, gets it to go. Less than three minutes to go. Lady Bears work it around. Work it around, gonna work this patience offense. I know that ain't a real steam or anything, but I'm gonna go with it. From the high post, gets it to go. Reed, she's back in it. Two and a half minutes to go. Two and a half minutes to go. Ten point lead. The Golden Bears Sports Network presented tonight by Beal Production. DJ Beal right here on the call with you at Clinton College. You might even can't hear me at this point because, you know, I was hitting a move or two. I was hitting a move or two, so, you know, I might have had to step away for a minute. Two thirty one to go, ten point lead for Clinton College over Johnson and Wales right now. The EMAC semi final matchup right here in Rock Hill, South Carolina, Clinton College facility. Can't finish on the inside, continuing to go, but Logan Taylor McDaniel active hands stolen away. Lady Bears feel like they got all the momentum in the world and they can slow it down. Slow it down, bleed a little clock, take a good shot. Drives in, picks it, good move. That was a, that was a, a great pass on the inside. Now those inside passes are hard to you come by. Everything's just so compressed right there, but good pass. Draws the foul, Tiffany Reed. 
He had a little frustration technical earlier. Coach Blair talked to her. He said, hey, we're still in this. We got this, right? And the momentum was going Johnson and Wales' way. Coach Blair said, hey, we got this. Relax a little bit. Take a second. Get you a little bit of water. Come back in. And Tiffany Reed's been big ever since. She was big before, so nothing really changed. But here we go. 12. 12 point game. 141 to go. Looking it around. Fallon can't get it to go. She just ain't been able to hit it tonight. Kayla McDaniel on the rebound. She picks it out to, my, to Davis, I should say. And Davis looking to run the offense. And get around Smith. Smith taking the man to the right. They're going to get the foul. Johnson and Wells just trying it. Johnson and Wells trying to get that basketball. You know what I mean? If I want to sleep over here, it happens. I mean, like, full sleep tip. Good steal by Ballard. The Duffy lost the foul on the baseline. That's going to be the best bet if you're uh, going to hope for fouls. Maybe going to the line. You got a long way to get to the penalty, though. So, I have to do it a little bit more of an efficient way. Can't hope for the Lady Bears to foul you. McDuffie, step back, takes the three, can't get it to go. Lady Bears, stolen away. Pulls it out, takes the three herself. Mallory was calling for it, she didn't get it, but no three on that one, and it looks like the Lady Bears just going to maybe be able to run this one down a little bit more. Oh, no. Not late in the game like that. Ankles left on the ground as the shot clock is turned off and a way to end it for Clinton College. The Lady Bears ended it just the way they started in pretty dominant fashion. On the defensive end, on the offensive end, and a little late three for gamesmanship as well. McDuffie playing through the buzzer. Got to make it look good at least. Duffy going to foul, not giving up with two seconds to go. Two and a half seconds to go, not giving up. It ain't going to matter. With a 10 point lead. The Lady Bears will advance in the EMAC semi finals right here at home. That's going to do it. That's going to do it for this one tonight. The EMAC semifinal matchup goes to Clinton College over Johnson and Wells. Over Johnson and Wells, Clinton College impressive tonight. Be sure to stay up on Clinton College basketball to know where the men are playing, where the women are playing in the next round. It's Clinton College advances over Johnson and Wells in the EMAC semifinals. Be sure. You stay up. This has been. This has been. Clinton College basketball on the Golden Bears Sports Network. Brought to you tonight by Bill Productions. This has been DJ Bill. Until next time, y'all have a good night. Get you some dinner in. Or late dinner in, at least. And we definitely hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, be sure to also subscribe to Clinton College. The Golden Bears Sports Network. The official sports network of Clinton College. Until next time, this has been the EMAC semifinal matchup brought to you by Bill Productions.